What is going on, yo? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com, and I got a video for you today. So I am in a competition prep, as many of you, hopefully all of you know. Uh, I'm at the point in this prep where I am in phase two, which is increasing my protein while simultaneously decreasing my dietary fat in order to find my own unique protein threshold, which is a great timing time for me to kind of play around with uh, CGMs, blood glucose testers, glucometers, ketone readings. These are some things that I'll use to try and determine what that threshold is. It's typical to see an increase in blood glucose and a decrease in blood ketones as you near that threshold, along with other factors such as increased GI distress, increased bloat, uh, more brain fog, less energy, more joint pain and inflammation, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, very, very individualized. And you don't have to use a CGM or a glucometer to test, but I like incorporating these things when I'm nearing my protein threshold to just kind of solidify that I am, in fact, nearing that threshold. So, shout out to NutriSense. They hooked me up with a CGM. This video is sponsored by NutriSense, all that stuff. Like, I'm going to put an affiliate link in the description below, all that stuff that they want me to do. Um, so, take note of that. But this should be a pretty good opportunity for me to test via a CGM to see what my blood glucose is doing throughout the day as I'm increasing my protein. So, here is the NutriSense box. They're using uh, this meter. Let's dive in and see what we're looking like here. So you got to get the app on your phone. I've got that right now. I'm going to kind of walk you through install and all that good stuff. So this is what it looks like. You have instruction manuals, um, which I hate reading instructions. You typically can put this in your tricep. That's what I've done in the past. Uh, I've got the app on my phone, NutriSense. Let's go ahead and go through the app so you can see exactly what this would look like forward-facing for you if you were to get it. So let's get you started. Welcome to the NutriSense CGM program. Please tell us more about your goals. So we'll do the start questionnaire. Uh, continue. I'm just going to kind of make this pretty brief so that you all get the point, but feel free to go as detailed as you'd like into this. Um, have you already made a lifestyle change or progress towards this goal? I guess, uh, no, I haven't. I have, but I'm not sure why it's not letting me change there. What does success look like for you? Leanest man alive. This is going to be some interesting answers for their database here. Uh, next... How confident are you that your current lifestyle habits positively support your long-term health? I feel pretty confident. Which of the following, if any, might prevent you from reaching your goals? Uh, nothing I can think of. I'm pretty determined. But you kind of get an idea of what some of those could be if those apply to you. Please share information about your health. What is your weight? 164 pounds as of this morning. And that's in pounds. Next, what is my height? Let's see, I am about 68 inches tall. What is your body fat percent if you know it? I'm just going to say 5%. What is your BMI? Um, I think I'm technically overweight via my BMI. Let me see here. My BMI is totally skewed, though. But my BMI is 25.5, which is kind of crazy. Uh, that's why BMI is kind of nonsense if you lift weights, but I digress. Please share a recent full body picture of yourself. Feel free to skip this. I'm just going to skip that. Uh, please list any prescription medications you are currently taking. I'm not taking any. Uh, please list any supplements you are taking. Um... I'm not really taking any either. We'll do creatine. And we'll do, um, what else am I taking? Like electrolytes and stuff. I'm not really sure that they care about that. Electrolytes, and we'll call that good. Please list any current health conditions you have. None. All right. Now what? Man, there's a bunch of these questions here. All right, we'll just dive through these. What is your occupation? Bodybuilder. Over the last month, on average, how many hours of moderate, intense physical activity did you participate in each week? 
each week, probably eight to 10 hours. How many steps per day do you get on average? I would say typically five to 10,000. How many hours of quality sleep do you get per night? Less than six. That's where I'm not doing too hot there. How would you rate your stress levels on average? Pretty high. Food and diet preferences. I do follow keto. Do you have any food allergies or sensitivities? None that I'm aware of. How would you assess your current knowledge of health and nutrition? I feel pretty knowledgeable. Tell us more about your experience with the glucose management. Have you had any lab work in the past 12 months? Yes. Um, I'm going to skip that. Do you own a glucometer, finger prick, glucose meter? Yes. I feel pretty confident about that too. Nutrition coaching. This is the last one, I believe. What is your preferred frequency of communication with your nutrition coach? I personally do not need to do that, so I'm going to skip that. What type of coaching style do you prefer? Uh, I'm kind of skipping these two. I feel pretty confident. Good. Thank you. Again, y'all go as detailed as y'all want in this. This is me trying to get through this for y'all for illustrative purposes. Questionnaire complete. All right. Rock and roll. Uh, apply your CGM. We're just going to go straight to that. So there are four components in the box. Bandage, CGM applicator, CGM sensor, alcohol, wipes. Choose the portion of the back of your arm with the most fat. This section should be intact skin without irritation. Clean the area with the alcohol wipes before applying. If you have oily skin, consider a gentle exfoliation beforehand. All right. Pull off the lid to the sensor pack and twist off the cap of the sensor application. So pulling off the lid here, twisting off the cap here. Boom, chicka boom. All right. Line up the dark marks on the sensor applicator in the sensor prick. That's going to be that applicator line right there and that applicator line right there. Line those up. Locked and loaded. Connect the two pieces. Use a hard surface and push down. Sometimes you can hear a click. I kind of skipped ahead. Now the small needle should be visible in the gray applicator. That is a large needle in my opinion, but there it is. Um, don't set the applicator down. Push firmly to apply the sensor. Don't be nervous. Insertion might feel like a tiny pinch or something or nothing at all. You are all set. Okay. Always trips me out seeing the size of that needle, but I've done this enough times to know that it doesn't actually hurt. However, my tricep is leaner now than it ever has been upon application. So we shall see if it does hurt. All right. One, two, three, go. Doesn't hurt. All right. Woo, little, 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 little funky, but doesn't hurt. Um... Put your NutriSense bandage on. The use of the included adhesive bandage is strongly encouraged to protect the sensor during use. Uh, I did get a notification that they have stopped sending some of these bandages, but you can go, actually, I take that back. My bad, it's right here. So we have a bandage, we are good to go, no worries there. Boom, chicka boom. I'm gonna have Crystal put this on because she's gonna put it on much more straight than I could. All right, your sensor will last approximately 14 days, so two weeks. You can shower with the sensor. If you swim regularly, extra waterproof bandaging is recommended. Carefully swap bandages if the first becomes loose. Activate your sensor. All right, hold your iPhone near your CGM to scan your data. You hold it right next to it. I've, all right, you get a little buzz sensation. Unable to read tag. There was an error when scanning your sensor. Please wait one minute and try again. If repeated attempts fail, message customer support. I don't really feel like waiting a minute, but I guess I will. I've got a pretty thick phone case, which kind of is an issue sometimes. Um, most phone cases probably wouldn't be an issue, but I've got one of those like souped up bulletproof phone cases. Uh, so try again. All right. Unable to read tag. That's not good. I guess I will wait a minute. All right, let's try this again. Try again. C 
Success. Hold your phone near your CGM. Activation successful. All right. Great job. Your CGM is successfully activated. You can begin scanning your sensor in one hour. Make sure to scan your sensor at least once every eight hours. Continue to the app. All right. I'm assuming that is good to go. Close. All right. So this is what the database looks like. I will show you all some of this data in a little bit once I can actually start scanning. All right, y'all, it is a couple days later. I got the CGM installed, as y'all saw with the last video, but I figured I'd give you a quick little update now that I've got some data in the CGM. So let's go ahead and just open the NutriSense app. So we've got uh, today, and then I've got, let's see here, July 25th, and then the day that I installed it. For whatever reason, when I installed it, it had this crazy high reading, which is not accurate. Like, my, my blood glucose was not 146. I'm not sure why it was showing that high upon install. Maybe it was just calibrating or something. But then once it actually started get, gathering the data, you can kind of see how my numbers have been right there in the sweet spot. You know, 50 on the low end, 70 on the higher end, um, 87 here. And then going to the, today, um, 82. Now let me go ahead and scan so you can see what the scan looks like. So you just simply hit the plus button and you can add a meal, you can add an activity in, journal, measurements, message, et cetera, et cetera. So I typically just hit the scan button, ready to scan, hold your phone near the CGM, which I just did. Um, get you the blue check mark there. And then it shows what your current reading is, which is Let's see here, uh, 73 according to this at 11.48 a.m. Um, now, quick little context here. I worked out this morning at about 6.37. Um, I literally just finished eating my first meal. Um, so even with that, you don't really see much of a change in, in fluctuation. You can kind of see a little bit here. Mine's higher, 85 from what it was this morning at 53. Uh, a little bit higher here at 85, 750. That's pretty much the end of my workout. So it is typical to see a slight glucose response intra-training and then immediately post-workout. Your body's basically mobilizing any of the stored muscle glycogen you have, which is going to be measured in a slightly elevated blood glucose. Um, but then again, after training, after your body stabilized, you should see a lower number than baseline, which is what you kind of see here at 69 for me. Um, so, quick little note here. So, we just tested it just now. It was showing 73. I'm going to go ahead and test this against a glucometer that I have, and I'm using the Freestyle Precision Neo glucometer. So, let me go ahead and get uh, a test pulled up here, and we will see how they compare. Because one cool thing about the NutriSense, I'm not sure if the other ones do this or not, but with NutriSense, you can do a manual calibration. Um, and this is testing interstitial fluid, whereas the glucometer is not quite as much. There's going to be a little discrepancy there, plus there's a little bit of a lag. So there's a little bit of nuance between the two devices. But for simplicity's sake, I like them to track as closely as possible. Um, so we'll see what this is coming in at. Again, the CGM is showing 73, and the Freestyle Precision Neo is showing 62. So that is about a 10-point difference, give or take. So the cool thing about this uh, NutriSense CGM is I can go in here, I can go to Settings, I can go to Sensor, and then I can go to Manual Calibration. And then I can up this, I can decrease this, I can increase this as needed. Um, so mine's been a little wonky. Sometimes I've gotten them and they've been like 10 milligrams per deciliter off, or 20 milligrams per deciliter off rather, which is a little bit higher. I've been kind of testing this one in unison with the glucometer for the past few days that I've had it in, and it's always within about 10, so I've been kind of playing around with that manual calibration. Sometimes I'll do plus 10, minus 10, kind of see where things level off, um, but again, since I am following a very strict ketogenic diet right now, my, my levels are never going to go crazy high or too crazy low because I am not doing any extended fasting right now, so as long as it's within 10, it's still going to be within a very healthy range, so I'm not really worried about it. But if your CGM is off considerably from your glucometer, you do have that manual calibration ability, which is nice. Um, so real quick, just to kind of give you an overview of what the, the app looks like once you start putting some data in, you can pretty much just see your 
glucose readings over time, which is nice. Um, I honestly don't take advantage of the app near as much as I could or should. Um, I don't go in here and I don't add like, you know, food entries. I could, I could say that I just add, I had my meal just now. I could put that in manually. And if I was doing that, then I'd be able to see how these spikes and dips and everything are correlated against, you know, a timeline with my training session, with my meals, et cetera, et cetera. I kind of, I'm doing OMAD right now. My meals are all the same. I'm not doing a whole bunch of experimentation in that regard. So I don't really take the time to put that information in. But for somebody that doesn't know that, by all means, feel free to add that information. But you've got like your last reading. I mean, kind of see your, your readings over time, which is nice. Um, daily glucose score. Again, I'm not doing the daily nutrition summary, so I'm not having that. Uh, you've got the insights here. Um, so you can kind of see some of this information, which is nice. Um, and then they've got like a learning feature here, which again, I'm not really taking advantage of a lot of this information. Um, I'm pretty much just using it for my own personal use in the context of this competition prep right now to figure out as I'm nearing my protein threshold, what my glucose is doing throughout the day as that protein increases and my fat decreases. But for someone that is a diabetic or someone that is doing more experimentation, they would be able to make a lot more use of this app than I'm going to, but I still find it very beneficial nonetheless. So there's a re recap on the CGM, the NutriSense app. Again, the link in the description below will take you there. i give you some more information on that application. That's how I personally use it. Feel free to do with that as you may. And uh, take advantage of having more data. The data at your fingertips is great. You know, what is measurable is manageable. And then you can just take action on that insight. So appreciate NutriSense for sending me the CGM and hooking me up. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.